today's video will be a simple guide on how you can search for a flight ticket online and then I will also proceed to actually book the ticket so you will know what to expect every step of the way. I will then proceed to cancel the ticket and receive a full refund even though the flight is non-refundable. I'll show you exactly how it's done. We will be using Google Flights, which is a free tool that anyone can use to search both international and domestic flight tickets online completely independently. What we'll be booking today is a round trip flight from JFK New York Airport all the way to LAX Los Angeles International Airport. Once you've put in your departure and your destination airports, you'll want to click this little calendar button and then scroll till you find your dates. For this example, we will be flying out of New York on Friday, August 4th, and then flying back home from Los Angeles to New York on Sunday, August 6th. It'll just be a quick weekend trip. The price that you see here is $408. This is with the taxes included, the lowest round trip flight ticket that is available for those dates. Once you hit done, we will be able to see all of the flights that are available. This first one has a stop, so you will need to change planes. We don't want to do that when there are many non-stop options available. Scroll down and you'll be able to see even more flight options. So let's say we need to wait until after work. So this flight that leaves at 6.15 p.m., it's local time at your departure airport. So it will be 6.15 in New York when it departs. And the price that you see here, $518, is going to be the total cost with all of your taxes and your fees included for the round trip flight. So it includes your flight ticket from New York to Los Angeles and then your return flight ticket on Sunday from Los Angeles back to New York. Also, if you are curious, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and you can confirm that the prices you are seeing are in your local currency. These are in US dollar. You can click and change it if you would like. Okay, so let's say we're happy with this flight. You're then going to click to select it. And now we will be choosing our return flight on the Sunday. What we are seeing here are the options. Uh, so for the $518 round trip special deal, it's highlighted in green because it is the best offer that Google Flights has for us for this trip. We will need to take the flight that leaves Los Angeles at local time, 11.59 p.m. It's then going to be arriving in New York one day later. That's what this little plus sign means because it will be the Monday by the time that we arrive at 8.39 a.m. New York time. Five hour flight, nonstop again, not bad. So let's say we're happy with this one. We will click on it. And now you will be able to review your entire trip with the departing flight and the arrival flight in one place. You can use that little drop down arrow to see if there's any notifications about your flight, such as this one that indicates it's going to be overnight. Then we scroll down and since Google Flights is only a search engine, you do not actually book your flight ticket or pay Google Flights anything. Instead, it's going to give you options to redirect you to an airline's website where it's going to take all the details of the flights that you just searched and plug them in on that airline's website for you to make the payment and complete the booking. So in this case, it gives us the different options to book with Delta. You will also have these options as well as many other options to upgrade your flight on Delta.com. So we will start by continuing with this basic economy ticket. Here it gives you the trip summary. It's pulled from Google Flights. So just verify that the details are exactly what you searched previously. It's the same flight you were looking at and then head over here to see your trip total. So we were quoted at 518 US dollars for the trip. Here it is 517 and 80 cents. So it's the same price. Uh, then you will scroll down. Again, you'll have more options to upgrade your flight ticket if you would like, or to purchase a refundable ticket, which is an additional $280 per person. We are going to avoid all of these upgrades for now, and then we will click continue to review and to make your payment. Here you are just reviewing your tickets. You have the option again to upgrade in price if you would like to choose your seats. I'm not going to. Here it is also telling you what is included in your ticket. Uh, your carry-on is going to be free, so you can bring a carry-on suitcase with you as well as a personal item like a purse or a backpack. 
It's gonna give you the option if you'd like to add on any travel insurance. I'm personally going to say no. I use my own travel insurance. It's much cheaper than this, and I have them linked in the description if you're interested. Also, the credit card that you use to actually make the booking for this trip may have uh, travel insurance protection already included. And then even though we are paying for a non-refundable flight, you have this 24-hour risk-free cancellation option. So this applies to any airline that you book with in the United States. So assuming the flight either starts in the US or ends in the US, within this cancellation period, you will get a full refund to your original payment method, which is exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial, as I have no intention of actually taking this flight. Okay, my trip to Los Angeles, California is booked. So now in order to cancel this flight, I'm going to copy this confirmation number. Then I'm going to go up to my trips. I'm going to paste my confirmation number. It's going to pull up my full flight. If you did exit out of that confirmation page and you come back onto this several hours later, as long as you are within that 24 hour period, you can head to the top Delta menu and click my trips to find your itinerary. Now that we are on here, we see the option right here that says need to cancel. Going to click on it. It is reaffirming that I have this 24 hour risk-free cancellation period. I will look at my refund details. It says you are eligible for a refund back to the original form of payment, but please note refunds may take up to seven days to process. At which point I'm going to move forward, cancel and refund the trip. And the trip has now been successfully canceled. So hopefully this video has helped to give you confidence in searching for flights, going to the airline's website to book a flight independently, and then knowing that you still have a 24 hour cancellation period. Thank you so much for watching and definitely consider subscribing so you can tune in for more flight tip videos, as well as how you can find the cheapest flights for your travels this year. Have a good one. Bye.